All right. So today is a huge day. As you guys know, I'm a huge gamer and I like to have the very best stuff possible, just like everybody else in this gaming universe. Well, I just picked up the Eric's 3 wireless mouse by SteelSeries. Brand new and it is incredible. Let me just show you some of the fine details of this mouse. So I know for you keyboard and mouse gamers out there, mice and keyboards are everything, right? But first off, a mouse is your aiming device. It's your ability to show off your skills, right? Well, just to bring up Final Mouse for a little bit here, if you guys know, Final Mouse just released their first ever wireless mouse. It's called the Starlight 12. That thing was legendary for the entire gaming industry because pretty much they made two different sizes, a small and a medium. The small weighed 42 grams and the medium weighed 47 grams. The lightest wireless mouse, let alone the lightest mouse in gaming history. Well, this is just as good. I and mean, I'm not gonna lie. This isn't the first unboxing. I just did that for this whole purpose of this video. This mouse is insane. So you don't need to have name brand things, but I will say, even though this series is very popular, this here will change the way you think about everything. So now to get into some of the smaller details of this mouse, and then I'll show you some of the hardware that comes actually with the product when you buy it. And now a uh, fair warning here so nobody tries to kill me in the comments. I don't actually know everything about what's being said on the box, okay? I'm not as smart as you think I am. So first off, this bad boy has a true move air sensor system, which is really cool. So it's very sensitive. Sensitivity goes all the way up to 18,000 CPI. If you guys don't know what that is, that's basically how sensitive of your mouse is when you move it, it's crazy. Like 18,000, I'm at about 400 to 600 at the most. So 18,000 is crazy. I don't know who needs that much sensitivity, but if you need it, I think you need to go see somebody. The maximum speed on this is 400 IPS. I'm not gonna even lie, I don't even know what that is in terms of technology, but it sounds really good. The pulling rate, again, I don't even know what that is. Like I said, guys, don't hate me in the comments. So the pulling rate is 1000 hertz, one millisecond refresh rate. That's crazy. Again, a Steel Series wireless mouse, you obviously would pay hundreds of dollars for something that was named brand that's a lot more rare. <clears throat> Final mouse. This one though. Perfect. Budget friendly too, which we'll get into that later. So I did forget to mention the price in the video. It's only $99.99. The Switch rating has over 80 million clicks. Now obviously this mouse is designed for right hand. I don't know who uses a left handed mouse. I've never even heard of anybody using a left handed mouse. And if anybody here is a left handed mouse user, type in the comments down below because honestly I'm kind of curious as to see who actually uses a left handed mouse. It has onboard memory. It has six different programmable buttons on it. Let me just tell you this, the one thing I really like about this mouse is the buttons. So to give you guys a little bit of a special addition to this video, I'm gonna be describing my final mouse Ultralight 2 Cape Town after I do all the review of this mouse because essentially the buttons are like the most important thing to me. I don't care about the weight of the mouse. I don't care about the little center wheel. I don't care about the DPI button. I don't care about the mouse clicky feels. I care about the buttons on the side because when I'm playing COD, I like to make sure that I can destroy my opponent. So the buttons here, there's only two side buttons. There's nothing on the right hand side, which I absolutely love because obviously I rest my hand more on the right side. I do a whole bunch of right hand movements so I don't want to be clicking any buttons on the right side preventing myself from not eliminating my opponent so I use the two that are on the left side where my thumb is so now what's crazy is that this mouse has RGB now I don't know how important that is to you guys but especially for someone that's in a dark room that doesn't have a lot of natural light RGB is everything to me because it's a source of light that I can actually see where I'm putting my hand at <laughs> now guys the biggest overall thing about this mouse that I'm sure a lot of you are going to want to know the weight of the mouse I mentioned how final mouse had the starlight 12 which is their first wireless mouse and it was groundbreaking for the gaming industry again the small was 42 grams the medium size was 47 grams this guy here is about 20 grams heavier it's 66 grams now I'm gonna state this you're not really gonna feel much of a difference and honestly I feel like that for a mid ground of gaming mice should be around 50 to 60 grams just because I feel like if it's too light it's just too light. In my personal opinion, I feel like if you have a fairly weighted mouse, you're not gonna be uncomfortable. You know what I mean? It's like that mid ground. You don't want to be too light. You don't want to be too heavy, but you want to be that midpoint. Now guys, I don't know if you can already tell, 
but this has a USB-C connection. Now, what's crazy is that the connectivity you can actually do via Bluetooth or you could do as like a Wi-Fi simulator, which is basically where the hardware comes in, which again, I'll get into that in a little bit. Now, this is the huge thing. Wireless mice, right? You wanna be able to make sure that you have the decent amount of connectivity, right? And battery life. So when you're on Wi-Fi, you get about 80 hours, which for the average Joe, that's a lot, okay? When you're on Bluetooth, you get about 200 hours. Now this is all with default lighting. What do they mean by that? Default lighting is basically when you turn the mouse on, it's default. So if you customize it, it's probably not going to last as long as the recommendation of what they tell you on the box. But if you're just cool with the switchy lights of green, blue, red, yellow, whatever other lights that you have, you're good to go. 80 hours and then also 200 hours on Bluetooth. So now guys, this is the last thing I'm gonna talk about with the mouse until we get into the hardware. The the great thing about this wireless mouse, and I'm sure a lot of people are going to wonder this, when you have a wireless mouse it obviously needs charging. It's not something that is a plug-in mouse where you have it wired so you don't ever have to charge it. This guy here, what I absolutely love about it is that it only takes 15 minutes to get up to 40 hours of battery life. Now again, that's incredible. If you're going to play up to 40 hours of games after charging, I think you and I need to talk because that's a little bit of a problem, but 40 hours after 15 minutes of charging, so you can only imagine what you can do after a full charge. So now to get into how you really connect your mouse to your PC, your Mac, or your Xbox, you have a beautiful and fairly long cord here. It's a USB to USB-C connection. So once you have this guy here, you also have uh, these beautiful little gadgets here and they basically go in like a puzzle piece. So you have your Bluetooth connectivity that connects to your mouse from your PC and then you have a little extension adapter. It's actually kind of nice for this adapter because I don't know if you guys can see this, but it has a little pad on the, the very bottom. So pretty much it's like a little paperweight. So if you want to just sit on your desk like that, you're golden. So all it is connecting this into here and then connecting it into your computer. And then on the very bottom of your mouse, you have again, Bluetooth off and then you have your Wi-Fi. So, what I like to do is set it to my Wi-Fi. It's at 2.4 gigahertz. I've never once had a problem with it connecting. Now guys, one last thing I want to compliment about this mouse is that the glide pads are actually really nice. Now for instance, let me just roll up my sleeve real quick. Act like I'm gaming, right? With like no effort, it slides perfectly. You don't have any kind of sudden breakages and glide. You have a flawless glide of the mouse when you're trying to aim at your opponent. It's phenomenal. Plus the clickiness. Oh. Okay. Alrighty, ladies and gents. So, the time has come where I'm going to show you the size comparison between the Final Mouse Ultralight 2 Cape Town and the Steel Series Eryx 3 wireless mouse. Okay, here they are. See ya? Awesome, right? From first glance, you can tell that this one's a tad bit larger. The only reason why this looks about the same size is because of the foam, and I'm not even kidding. But, from actuality, like you can see that this mouse is smaller than this guy here. Just by a little bit. So this is a medium, this is a small. It's the foam that's making everything look a lot bigger in person, or in camera. So I have a little power bank here, and then I have the exact same cord that comes with the mouse. I just, I plug the same cord in when I'm done charging it into the PC again. But in order to know when it's charging, this mouse will flash green light in 10 second intervals, and then result to a default lighting. So without further ado, you have the green light, green light, then it results to a default lighting, and that's what the RGB is. Again, this is the one thing I hate about this mouse, and the only thing I hate about this mouse is that it doesn't give you a precise time or sign that it's fully charged, or it's halfway charged, or it's going to die. Alright guys, so if you would like to see me use the SteelSeries Eryx 3 wireless mouse in a gameplay, like this video, but if you would also like me to review the Final Mouse Ultralight 2 Cape Town, after like two years of usage, probably three now, then comment down below. But without further ado, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Peace. Yeah, since you find what you're looking for when you stop looking, all of your exes with lessons in. We'll talk about them again. You keep on settling. Wonder if love is a pain or the medicine. You never let it in.